another board meeting to session and ask Mr. Superintendent if you will do the invocation and lead us pledge yes, after. Go about me. Heavenly Father, as we come to you tonight, we come to you just thankful. We have humble hearts. There's a lot to celebrate here in Levy County. We're thankful that uh, we get to, to see our student success and our, our staff success and, and showcase and shine a light on that. Lord, we also ask that you just you give us guidance and wisdom as we deliberate and we make decisions that affect our students and our staff. And Lord, we just pray that uh, as we keep you first in focus and in, in our lives, that then our students' success and our staff's success will, will, will shine. Lord, we thank you for all of our many blessings, and we thank you for the blessing of being here in Levy County. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 You'll address the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent. I'd like to ask for a motion for the adoption of the agenda this evening. Madam, Madam Chair, if I could, could we flip 5.2 and 5.1, switch those, and we'll do 5.2 first. So. I make the motion to approve the changes. Second. There's a motion and a second. All those in favor, say aye. aye. Any opposed, same sign. Motion passes. I move to the adopt the agenda. agenda. Okay. Is there a second to adopt the agenda with that change? Yes, uh -huh. yes we said it. Uh -huh. Okay. I'd like to welcome everybody here this evening. There's a few more coming in the back. And I will pass it over to Mr. Superintendent for his highlights. Uh, at this time, so I'm going to ask Dr. Hancock so to come forward, and so she's going to introduce. So <clears throat> we've got some students and staff here, so we're just at first showcase so the great things are going on at Williston Hill High School. That's right. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> <Your name is. laughs> uh, amen. I, I, this is my favorite part of the job is showcasing our students and all the wonderful things that they were doing. Um, it was an incredible year with our basketball team. Um, um, it was fun to watch them uh, just take it all the way to the state championship. And then they all came home with the flu. Um, <laughs> so one it was a little bit of a hard attack, but we're really proud of them. So we just want to give an opportunity for you guys to celebrate them with us. And we'll we'll do. Do we still have a couple more coming? Yeah, coming? We have two okay. More. All right. So let's switch. So we're going to do our college and career. So, so sorry. That's okay. Didn't, so. Didn't that. Okay. So I'm going to ask actually Ms. Brown to come up with our college and career. We had uh, our, our avid program. Um, she is our avid um, uh, lead teacher on our campus. And we had an avid night where we invited all of our students and families to come and come experience uh, the avid night along with some guests from Chiefland. So we had a, it was kind of a cross county um, event. So it's kind of nice lunch and kind of expense for what they did to prepare. So our wonderful student, Layla Jose, are actually going to tell us all about the event. So if you guys want to go ahead and tell us about the event. Um, posters like this one and this one. Um, 
our 10th graders, like I said, they also attended. And our 11th and 12th graders, we did um, test scores and the application process. And we had, uh, like they said, a school from Cleveland. And um, just like family members to come down and um, see our presentations. We had around 100 people. Uh, that showed up, and we had 40 people that presented. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a pretty fun night. It was nice. We had some food trucks and some drink trucks. Um, everyone just walked around, got all their information down, and it was just really nice to have everybody out there. So, yeah. Thank you. What career path are you two going to take? Um, I'm going to Santa Fe to be to study for an ultrasound tech. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to Santa Fe for the electrical or producer program, and hopefully working for uh, meeting the election. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <clears throat> you got it, Ian. Awesome. awesome. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate appreciate it all. Now we'll transition. So. Um, <laughs> So, all right, Coach, Coach Urban, so why don't you come forward, so. Um, he was Coach of the Year. Yeah. 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 To start with, uh, just an amazing year um, with a great group of uh, young men um, from, from, you know, our JV to our varsity is a great group of young men. We traveled quite often throughout the summer. It began last summer and uh, it ended in Lakeland. Um, we're, uh, we're always telling everyone you know, it's the last game, the one that matters. You don't win the last one, it really doesn't matter. Um, but at the end of the day, it matters with us every day the way these kids um, perform off the court. We have an outstanding group, obviously, we have some kids that um, fall off the wagon, we'll say, but we try to get them back up on track. And um, I tell you, just that's probably the most impressive thing about this group, rather than winning the state title, is what they stand for. They, they stand for a lot. They, they understand what life's about in the future. Uh, as coaches, we, we, we have a great coaching staff, and we, we put a lot of time, and hopefully we're making a difference in their lives, but they also make a difference in our lives with some of the things they do that are just remarkable. You know, I, I look at kids like Quincy. Um, he's not here with us tonight, and I see some of the things that he does uh, we ordered rings this year, and I'll use an example of one of our players who ordered rings this year, second year in a row, we won the state title. He orders a large ring, he can't figure out what, Quincy, why you order a large ring? He said, well, I've already got one. I want my dad to have one. Mm -hmm. He said, I wouldn't be here without him. Um, it just says um, volumes about what we're about, uh, our program, and our kids, you know. But on the basketball side, it would be 29-2, and two. Uh, we ended 13th overall by Max Preps in the state. He came out today, number one in 1A, uh, number 10 by Florida High School, number five in the nation of all small schools. Uh, we rank number five in the nation of, uh, of all small classifications. So it's a great honor uh, to be a part of this and to be the head of it. And uh, I wouldn't change anything in the world other than be at Wilson High School. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people want to thank the one want to thank the whole coaching staff. Um, without this group here in front of us, our board and our county, uh, it wouldn't be possible either. You know, you guys took a chance when you hired me. I'm an on staff coach. I come on board, and you, you guys give me an opportunity to coach basketball. Something that I love to do. Uh, give me an opportunity to do something that you know, I dream of every day, and that's to win a state title. So, uh, you know, so we can just go down and do it, go completely down. You know, our community, our Willis community. What a great sport. We need something. We reach out. It's usually there. So it's, it's amazing. You know, I think we don't want to say your name all or a sponsor. We have quite a few sponsors out there that really help us year in and year out. Um, you know, and, and obviously, um, Mrs. Iyer's come on two years ago, and I'm shaking my head. I'm thinking, oh, what do we get ourselves into here? I think I told this story before. I, you know, I've worked for one other, uh, I worked for probably the, one of the top three if I ever worked for was Dr. Connors down in uh, Citrus County, and she was the uh, principal there. And, I never worked for someone like that in my life. She was outstanding. I come here and I'm thinking, man, what's going to happen when Priscilla comes along? What, what, a, what, what a change she was for me as a basketball coach. Mm -hmm. and, 
then we get Mrs. Hancock over and think, now I've got someone else I don't know as much about athletics to start with. And um, what a great supporter she was. Just uh, everything we needed, um, whether it was, um, you know, whatever it was, she always had an answer. It wasn't always what we, you know, like anything, it's not always what we want to hear. It was always things that would benefit our program. Um, and so I, I just want to give our administrators and our teachers at Wells High School, thank you for giving me that opportunity and thank you for everything. But um, other than that, I, one of my kids are, most of my kids here in front of us, some of them are come from football. Um, they're lifting tonight. Some of them are uh, working or whatever. We had a few of them here in front of us and they're a great example. Um, as you can tell, um, just look at them, what they are. And, you know, we have two of our coaches here, Greg Hamilton and uh, Corey Lamb's been here. Corey's been here since I've been here with me. Um, say we've a lot of time and a lot of effort. Corey and I are on the phone night in, night out during the basketball season, figuring out how how we're going to coach basketball, but how financially we're going to put this together too. Um, and uh, so we've made it happen. And, and uh, as far as uh, what we're going to do in the future, I mean, these guys have set standards. I don't know what's what we do every year. Winning's important, but what we have in front of us is more important. So that's all I got to say about this group. Thank you, Coach. You want to introduce who you? Yes. Yes. Kyla Lane, he's a senior going to the University of Tampa. On full time. <laughs> Since I got a little time, I'll talk to him if you guys have time. <laughs> um, I can't say enough about Kyler. Um, Coach, I, I can name two other kids Sam Jones, Sunders Christian School. That's perfect 1600 on his SAT. Okay. Um, um, Mr. Parker, DeAndre Parker. Chris River High School, uh, went to Union County, won, uh, played football there. One of the most remarkable young men I've ever met. He's right up in the top three with those, those boys. Uh, just for who he is. Forget about basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone's been around him, you know that. Uh, we'll go right down to Isaiah. Isaiah's a kid that played for us all summer, decided to come back to us this year. Um, great future, but once again, he's what, he's the type of kid a product of our environment there. Um, it's just going to be what we expect to have at Willows High School. A great basketball player, but a great young man that's working hard in the classroom and trying to change a few things, and that's our expectation. I think, um, I think we got a, one of the best players in the state in the next year, Peter Stead, next year, DeAndre Harvey. And it's not going to get much better than that. He's just got to stay on track, and um, he's going to do great things. And, uh, He's awful quiet. He never said much, and that's probably a good thing. Before he did, he performs the same way, and um, he's wearing my necklace tonight. By the way, and now we now we got Jaden Jaden McGee, a, a, a freshman, and you know you can look at him and say that's a freshman. You gotta be kidding me. So that's, that's how bright our future is. Is uh, is that he's another another example of what we love to have as a, as a basketball player in our program. He's a great student athlete, and I think at the end of the day, it's what it's about, uh, student athletes. So, um, you know, um, they, uh, it's our expectations, high at every level, no matter if it's on the classroom, out in, out in the community, or on the basketball court. So, uh, and I, I got to tell them, your success is always measured every day, not on the court, but everything you do in life. And success will take you a long way. And, uh, I appreciate you, Coach. Yeah. So, um, I'd be remiss, board, if I could have a, a, just a moment. So um, I may have a, a soft spot in my heart for basketball. So, um, <clears throat> so those that, that know, so kind of chuckle. Um, but I'd be remiss. So there, there's somebody in, in the audience that um, helped lay a lot of the groundwork for Williston Middle High School Red Devil basketball. So, and he's kind of peeking around. So he's not really <laughs> wanting to be noticed. So, but but Mr. Danny Floyd. So. Um, there may have been a few battles back in the day um, as, a, as an Eagle player, so uh, with the Red Devils. So, you know, um, Kyler, I wasn't blessed with your height, unfortunately. So, you know, the good Lord st stopped me so at, uh, at midget status. So, but anyways, um, but I do, I think one of the great things um, that I've seen is the transformation of how having good athletic teams at Williston has led to a reduction in discipline rates, but also an increase in our academic success. And um, and, and the, the goal is 
to continue to unite that and light that fire throughout. And, and Dr. Hancock and Ms. Hires are extremely supportive and have been really, really good um, to help hold our kids accountable, but also make sure that they're meeting the expectations of student athletes. And, and this team is definitely so. Um, so coach, I, I appreciate you and I appreciate the support that you lend the administration. Um, and I appreciate you guys for what you mean because you're leaders on the campus. And I think that's a really, really important thing to understand that you embrace that and that you go, that you be great student athletes first, students first, and that you're, you're showing and that you know the impact that you make in, in that campus. So thank you all. Corey, I thank you for what you commit to this program and what you mean in these guys' lives. So Greg, see you yourself also. But we're really, really blessed. The community's pressed because of you guys, what you guys have done. But you got a lot of people that care about you. So, and a lot of people care about you at this board. And I think that's what we want, is we want this to blossom and be throughout the county. We want good rivalries. We love rivalries, and there's nothing wrong with, but we keep it inside the court, and I appreciate you guys and what you've done. And Coach, I thank you very much, because I know the amount of time that you put in, and the amount of time that that takes away from a family. And I thank you for that, and I thank you for family, because your family's right there, right beside you, working in the concession stand, doing those things. So, with that, so. And I just wanted to second that real quick. Um, coach Irvin and his coaching staff are what's right in sports. If kids come to school at this level because of the extracurriculars. Um, school's hard sometimes. Not a lot of them are excited about calculus. Um, but if we, you know, if a kid misses a morning or sleeps in too late or their grade slips a little bit, it's a text to Coach Urban and it's fixed the next day because he has that relationship and that rapport built with his kids. And so to dedicate and volunteer your time to do that is very much appreciated because it's not always noticed. It's always behind, a lot behind the scenes. But you see these boys in the hallway, they are the most respectful, kind, hardworking kids. Um, my favorite is watching Quincy babysit the littles that come in to see this really tall kid walk, walking around with the littles that are in the school. Um, it's my favorite part of the day to see him do that. Um, so I just commend Coach Urban for the discipline that he gives these kids and how far it's going to help them grow in life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Picture. You better get up there, Devin. See if you're taller. <laughs> see if you're taller. <laughs> Devin, you can, you, can, you can stand by those boys. <laughs> we don't have the ducks. Crunch together. Yeah, Devin's right there with them. <laughs> Proud of y'all. Yeah, we are proud of you guys. UConn taught y'all back up. Back to back. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Baby girl behavior. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Thank you. take a two-minute break and visitors thank you very much for being here thank you for all your accomplishments and if you'd like to leave yeah. you're more than welcome to it's stay it's all more stuff after this yeah. <laughs> 6.1 mr lott good evening hello i am a social security today uh miss overs was uh, is away to this evening uh, but this policy uh, has already been introduced it's been advertised the correct uh, length of time and so we're at the point now uh, that unless you have some questions or some edits that uh, you would request uh, for us to ask you for approval of this new policy. Have there been any comments or anyone mentioning this? 
Thank you. I make the motion to approve <coughs> this policy. Second. A motion and a second. Any further discussion or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed, same sign. Motion passes for acceptance. And we'll keep you up here and go to 7.1. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 7.1 uh, is normally we do not bring changes to the student code of conduct this time. Um, we come to you uh, in time to get it printed. You know, we have these things. And so we don't like to do it this time because we're not going to the expense of printing three thousand, four thousand of these, however many we end up in doing, um, but because of a change in statute and because of some time limitations that were placed upon us by that statute, and then we had to wait for a state board ruling to, to be crafted out of that statute, um, and part of the statute does that we will have this in student code of conduct. So even though we won't print these, we do want to change it uh, officially, and so we've got some language there um, basically guaranteeing the right of privacy. Uh, it has some stipulation on bathrooms and also uh, changing areas uh, for that expectation of privacy. And so um, come to you today with a request for you to uh, approve this change in our student code of conduct. Um, just so you know, I have many more that will be coming forward because though all those little sticky notes are already changes for next, next time um, that we uh, like compile those in summer and bring them to you. We'll July. Oh, no. I just I didn't know if we could add in this um, the verbiage to put biological females and biological males. That language, um, all, a lot of things that are are in this are clarified in the statute, okay. um, yes. and that is one of them. And to the, down to the point where a female is one who is considered to be able to produce uh, eggs. Okay. Uh, if you read the statute, the, the side of there very clearly. All of the. What is a restroom? What, is that, what does it mean if you're a male? What does it mean if you're a female? All of that is addressed in the statute. Um, the statute's are, you know, that long. Um, I could do that, but um, yeah. it is addressed in the, in the, in the statute. So if anyone needs further clarification on that, you just reference the statute that's mm -hmm. in there. And we could get it. Well, I would also like to see single use in the bathroom because, you know, at our expulsions, we have so many kids that get in there and they do the wrong things when they're in there in the bathroom they go in there together in the stall, in the stall. In the stall. Yeah. so single use but and if it can't be in this one then you know when we do change that we that, won't if you, if you can read this you would see that that is actually one of the that's how this email originated was uh, one of our administrators asked us to address that in our next major change for the student code of conduct so okay. I agree with you and so do our administrators at the at the school level. That's one of the things that they wanted us to to put into <coughs> the student code of conduct. Right, and I think that would that would help certainly when we do have these issues that who did it and that, you know, they're all in there, so single yes. use. <laughs> you need to go in there by themselves. We appreciate that feedback, and we're obviously, we're taking notes and have our principals and APs, and so as we're going through, so, and as you can see that we've got that, and we'll, we'll make a note of that. Thank you. Does this particular statute statute as it appears now is there any facilities that need to be changed because of this or is everything pretty much normal moving um, forward well we have male we have female restrooms right um, there may be some instances where um, because of certain situations there may be a need to, to do a, a unisex uh, bathroom if you will um, normally the that those things are handled at the school level this is Not a the restroom right. that could be uh, used by either the statute use. the statute addresses unisex also so in it there but obviously so with us we're making sure that male and female to die right. identify just didn't know if they were making us <clears throat> run through some more hoops okay all right I have a this action right? action I have a motion to accept the change in the student code of conduct so moved okay the motion and a second all those any other discussion or questions all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Motion passes. Thank you, Mr. Lott. And we will move to item 8.1, Mrs. Lake. Talk 
talk about our um, audit for the 22-23 school year, our financial audit. If you look at the fifth page, page I, and we'll start with the summary. So the audit disclosed that the basic financial statements of the school board were presented fairly in all material respects in accordance with prescribed financial reporting standards. The audit did not identify any deficiencies in internal controls over financial reporting. And the audit also covered uh, federal award requirements for the special education cluster, so IDEA, and education stabilization funds, so our ESSER and ARC funds. Those were audited as major federal programs and the results indicated that we uh, complied with the requirements and, uh, and did not have any um, material uh, deficiencies. So if we go to the second to last page, the summary of auditor's results. We were given an unmodified opinion on our financial statements and our federal awards, which is good, an unmod unmodified opinion provides a reasonable level of assurance from the auditors that the financial statements uh, present a true and fair reflection of any entity's results for that uh, period that we've reported. We had no material weaknesses identified in our financial statements or our federal awards. No significant deficiencies were reported in our financial statements or our federal awards. We had no findings in either our financial statements or our federal awards. So that would, be, that would be for our financial audit. We are currently under an operational audit and we will be moving into our financial audit for 23-24 school year very soon. soon. Any questions? That's a great yeah, report. Yeah, great That's news. A, yeah. It is great news. Right. Thank you for what you Thank do. you. Thank, Thank you, Mrs. Lee. <clears throat> now we have the opportunity for any public comments for anybody that's sitting out in the audience that would like to come to the podium and address the board? Good evening, Mrs. Bowman. I'm here because we, a group of us have joined together to form a, um, a team to provide some services in our community. And we identified, or we were actually part of the um, White Rose Nursery, that nursery now has been closed for several years and uh, so we thought we'd get together and try and rekindle um, some services for that community. In our research, we discovered that there was a quick quit claim deed uh, that the county provided to the White Rose Nursery and it stated that if the nursery closed, then the property would revert reverse back to the county. So I'm here today to ask for some support from you and if we can somehow find a way to allow us to continue this process of, of serving our community through this building. The building has been vacant for almost four years now. I have a copy of the deed here. And we've not reincorporated or anything because we're waiting to see if this is something you all would support. We don't want to waste our, our time and our effort. But we also know that summer's coming and we'd like to get some things going for the youth in the community. So. Are you trying to start like a community center? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And, and partner with some other folks in the community to provide some of the services. Uh, we've got a whole list of folks, but I'm not at liberty to. Um, right to share those now, but if you like more information, we can certainly come back with a more detailed report in the near future, but we just wanted to make sure that you all understood that we were serious about this project. Um, the Tompkins family, who, uh, Mrs. Florence Thompson was instrumental in getting the daycare started years ago. Her family is very intricately involved in this process now, and so um, we would really like to get your support and uh, see if we can push this forward in some kind of a uh, relationship. How large is that building? Do you, you know, what, I did not bring it, that. I just bought a copy of the deed. Okay. It, 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 just, that's, that, historically, that building was the first school for African Americans in Levy County, in that part of the okay. county. Okay. So um, it, how many square feet, Mr. Fuller? Estimate? It's like five rooms? <clears throat> it's about eight rooms, and the rooms average probably about 30 by 40. <coughs> so That's pretty big. And for 
property, there's some, other, some additional property associated with, associated with it as well. Which would be conducive to outdoor right. things like day camps and that kind of thing as well as indoor uh, opportunities. Okay. So Thank you so very much. Two acres. Two acres. Yeah. Two acres. It's about 4,600 square feet. Yeah, 4,600, yep. Yeah. So what would we, council, have to do to that deed? Anything, or you're just... Well, right now, we're not able to get any services or do anything with the building because the property is is it's yours. Right. We want it back. Yeah. <laughs> and what is it it's still under their names? And, right. And so I guess I'm unclear. What is the status of the White Rose Nursery? It dissolved like okay. three, four years ago. Okay. The board, and we're, we're just we're new and we're starting over. And we want to use the facility as a multi-purpose facility. Okay. Um, I think this would probably require maybe a separate um, agenda item discussion. Yes. I'd want to gather some more information from the superintendent and maybe bring back some recommendations. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So when will I hear something or what should the next step be? Just so that I'll be able to go back and tell my folks what's going on. Mr. Fuller can go back and report. <laughs> We, we will do some research, so some more research so on it and, and come back with a recommendation to the board and when it comes on an agenda item, so I'll reach out to you. So. Okay. All right. Thank you. <coughs> Thank, Thank you very you much. much. Thank you for being here yep. as well. Ma'am, can I hang on to this copy? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Have another? <laughs> <laughs> Make a paper airplane out of it. Paper airplane. What like <laughs> Okay, we will move on to approval of the March 26th board meeting minutes. 10.1. Uh, second. A motion and a second. Any questions, discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Hearing none, motion passes for the minutes. Move on to the consent agenda, item 11. Mrs. Brookings, shall I start with you? Yes, certainly. Mr. Coward has answered all of my um, questions with clarity and expertise, and thank you. I have no others. Thank you, Mrs. Brookins. Mr. Whitehurst? All my questions are answered. Thank you. Mrs. Clemenzi? All my questions are answered. My questions as well. We had an um, agenda call with Mr. Super I had an agenda call with Mr. Superintendent this morning. Is there a motion to accept the consent agenda? So moved. Second. The motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Hearing none, motion passes for item 11. 12 on the finance. Are there any questions on 12.1? Is there a motion? I make a motion to approve. Second. The motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed, same sign. Hearing none, motion passes for the consent finance section. Item 13, Mr. Superintendent. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, just want to bless you so recognize so and I know board members you saw so uh, one of the first people that I met in Tallahassee was F with FSBA was Patricia Peterson and she served 35 years with FSBA so and was always the welcoming uh, face that met you at conferences or legislative day in Tallahassee and um, I guess it would have been about a year and a half ago so when we were up at Tallahassee for legislative day so she took ill and never recovered and she's passed away and um, just uh, we'll, we'll send a, a card from this board to her so because mm -hmm. she was just a, a wealth of knowledge and a kind soul that um, took every newbie school board member and brought them in and, and kind of ushered them so just really really appreciative uh, of her so so I apologize for that sad news um, I did share with you Mr. Asbell um, is away uh, because of a uh, being at Carson's yearly trip down to Orlando to to get checked out for his health issues, and he apologizes for him not being here. So now, just a, a couple things: we're in that testing window. Um, we started last week um, with, with writing test, and um, it, it unfortunately uh, consumes the last almost two months um, between all the things that go on. The hard work that, that goes on on our campuses because it basically almost, um, for lack of a better word, shuts everything else down because you're stopping. People are doing everything to uh, 
monitor. So our district staff is going back into schools to help be proctoring. So not only on regular EOCs and testing thing, state testing, but also on our industry certification. So Ms. Taylor has been uh, very, very busy this week going back, and we know how important those are because they bring dollars back to those programs and also put dollars into our teachers' pockets when our kids so are successful. So um, we had a conversation yesterday, and, and I believe the figure that you look at our CAPE dollars, that, that those industry certifications mean a little bit over $300,000 um, back in, into those programs and also into our, our st staff's pockets. So appreciative of all the efforts that go through. And then a positive, um, you know, uh, there's always a lot of things going on and uh, seeing two communities come together in Chiefland and Williston um, to do the gauge NOF. So taking a negative thing and turning it into a positive to raise scholarship dollars. So it was really, really neat to see what happened in those two, two communities. So, and then obviously this past weekend, I know uh, Ms. Boyle will probably talk more, but counted up realizing. So this was uh, year number 20, I think for flipping burgers at the Cedar Key PTO uh, booth. So, and just uh, all the good works that go and how much the Arts Festival means so to that community and to those clubs and classes. And so it was a little bit slow, but um, we still were able to, to go down there and, and help those, those schools out and those, those kids out. So, and with that, so I'm thankful that we were able to celebrate uh, Williston. So the two students that showcased with AVID, we see the good things that AVID is bringing back and opening doors of students that never have an opportunity or have not ha been exposed with, with their family. So to go to college or to go to career and technical, and, and it's really a, a testament to what that program's doing. And then you obviously saw the hard work of fruition of a 29 and two uh, Red Devil boys basketball team being the first back-to-back -back state title, so there for that. So, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent. Mrs. Brookins? Um, uh, I know that Chiefland Middle High School, they're getting ready to celebrate their prom um, this Friday night, and so that's exciting for all the students and um, faculty and everything. Um, the drama um, club is doing, I cannot think of the name. Alice. Alice. An adaption of Alice. Yeah. Um, great um, play. I've heard nothing but just rave reviews. And you, you went to see it, Kelly? I did. I yeah. It was good. Yeah. So I, I highly recommend. I haven't. I do plan to do that. But it's um, it's it's um, really good play. Um, and then it was a good basketball, a baseball game for Chief Of course, they did win. <laughs> um, we'll say yes to. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think everyone's excited for spring break and then the kids are going to come back and get ready for testing and that's going to be a lot but I think they're all excited for spring break thank you that's all I have thank you Mrs. Brookins Mr. Whitehurst thank you um, I thought it was good to have the avid you know sh showcase the uh, college and career that's certainly something very important you know I felt like from an outsider parent, you felt like something was so much was pushed towards college and not so much career, but I really feel like Levy County is doing a good job pushing that career because there's a lot of good jobs out there that need to be filled and, you know, not everybody's college bound. So it's good to see that, you know, we are taking a, a proactive stance on, you know, getting these kids you know, to either college or career ready, you know, um, that's certainly something I'm proud of that our school district's doing. Um, like I said, it's good to have the basketball team back-to-back um, -back state champs um, that never ever won it, and I won back-to-back. So, um, and then this hearing Coach Irvin and um, Dr. Hancock and Ms. Priscilla just talk about, you know, what athletics help these motivate these kids to want to do right, you know, and these coaches holding them account accountable for their actions. You know, we see these in expulsions. You know, we get a lot of kids in here that don't have – you know, don't have the you know, accountability for their actions. Their parents aren't doing it, you know, and I'm sure some of these you know, athletes are the same way, but at least there's these coaches are filling that void to where they're able to hold them accountable and want to succeed. But at the end of the day, we want every kid to graduate and want to be a successful adult. So um, I'm just good to, good to see that. Um, certainly, like I said, a lot of testing coming up. Um, you know, I know it's like I said, our kids, you know, they spread over it and stuff like that, but you know, that's just part of life. I think, you know, Tess is their fortitude and, you know, that's something, you know, proud to be of to 
really put your effort and succeed. Um, and um, good to see the audit went well. I know Miss Lake works hard, and along with other the staff, to make sure. I mean, that's a big deal to make sure no findings. I mean, that's um, that's a good testament. So, and I know everybody's looking forward to spring break. I know my kids are. So, mm -hmm. I hope everybody has a good spring break. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Whitehurst, Mrs. Clemenzi. Um, I love any time we have a meeting that showcases our kids. And um, even though the science boards give me PTSD, <laughs> they had a lot of good information on it. I went through the grudge, all of that application process last year, and I can't imagine not these kids, and a lot of them don't have parents to help them do this. I can't even imagine that. And I'm a big fan of AVID because of what we saw tonight. Um, and I'm a big fan of the boys sitting here on the front row because after the expulsion hearings we've had today and the last meeting, to have kids like this represent what you should act like, um, it gives me a little bit of hope because it's, it's we're weary from it lately, so um, there's that. And Yankee Town, yes, testing, we're trying to maintain our B. I talked to Miss Westfall this morning and she thinks we could even shoot for possibly an A, so we are great things going on um, in Yankee Town and they're starting the sports court this Friday so everybody's oh, super yeah. excited about that and that's all I am it's like big shout out to you you know I'm a big fan <laughs> <laughs> no findings it's huge so uh, I'd be you. remiss if Cameron was here where did Miss Lake so go to high school so but she's a legler <laughs> that's all I have thank you Mrs. Clemente <laughs> Well, they already bribed me with cupcakes if I'm, if I'm short-winded. <laughs> um, as Mr. Superintendent said about the Cedar Key Arts Festival, it definitely was a lot slower, um, but I think all the kids had a good time. They worked very, very hard on the, on the food. I, I was in the PTO booth for the first few years, couple of years, as a board member, and I had this crazy idea to maybe have a school board booth and see if we could raise some money for smaller items for the school. And uh, I decided to make mac and cheese. And uh, that's a lot of mac and cheese, but <laughs> um, it goes well. And for the seafood festival, we were able to get about 16 new wall mats for the gym mm -hmm. which was great because they only had four on either end so we're gonna expand as as we go and the monies from this weekend um the home ec kids will get some nice knives i talked to mrs Voyles, and if there's any money left over left over we'll continue that expansion of the wall mat so that'll be fun uh grad bash for cedar key is this friday and uh they did a wonderful invite for myself and Jenny McCain, and we said yes, but no one informed me that you stay up all night. Mm -hmm. So that ought to be interesting, <laughs> staying up mm -hmm. all night. Um, <laughs> it, it was great to hear um, the coach talk about those basketball players and, and what they're doing. And I kind of was, I wasn't, I was listening to him, but I wasn't looking at him, I was looking at the kids and their eyes were just glowing. You could tell how, how much pride is in them, you know, from this and, and listening to the coach speak. So that, that really hit home with me tonight, especially, um, Mrs. Clemenzi hit it, especially after the um, expulsions these, these past couple times. Um, so that, that was a breath of fresh air and appreciate everything that everyone does for our students and everybody behind the scenes. Four minutes on the phone. <laughs> if there's no further business, meeting is adjourned. <laughs>